Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, ticket symbol AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how one borrower is at extreme risk of defaulting and how brokers are trying to protect themselves right now away from AMC. We're seeing firms are paying more than now than when AMC was actually at $25 and how all the squeeze factors is adding up for AMC right now and many more. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to take a look at the chart for AMC and APE today. So AMC did very well today. We're up 6.73%. We are 5.71. So going off of how the week started and it's exactly like what we've talked about, the first two days was very important. We saw it drop for the first day, but the second day we see it come back with a very strong price action. And so we knew that momentum was going to carry on. Hence why we saw the price breaking this 547 and 550 56 zone we've seen the price now making the first high for the week and it's actually higher than the close of last week so amc is doing pretty well like i said we still have two more days left and looking like this momentum right now one thing the small objective we want to see first is actually closing above 556 and 547 for the last two weeks we can never get that to happen as you guys can see so that will be the mini objective we are able to get that despite price not going up very high it is still a very good thing but the next objective is actually close above 596. We can definitely see rejection going off of that 596 that we've seen previously and also the 623 area. So we definitely want to see it to break and close above 596. And that is what I want to see more coming up for this week, which right now is looking very possible with how the price is going. And so obviously everyone was a lot worried when AMC dropped on the first day, but just how we talked in the Sunday outlet video, guys, everything is going what we said. So if you guys want to make sure you never miss out on the video, make sure to click that subscribe button. Feel free to check out the Sunday outlet video if you guys still want to know what to expect for for the rest of the week so for amc we're doing pretty well if we take a look at ape ape again is also what we talked about doing very well if we are able to break and close above 244 which we have now today as we are up 5.79 closing at 256 it's very likely to see amc test that next level coming in at 276 and 279 so that is the next level i'm watching now do bear in mind that Obviously, Ape is overbought, so we do have to be worried about people taking profit. You can obviously see how well Ape is going, but there's a reason for obviously why Ape has going up, and it's because of the conversion. It's very likely to continue to see Ape going up, but I'm sure some people need to definitely watch out for in terms of in the short term price drop as people are definitely taking profit. Because if you take a look at since, of course, what we've talked about, Ape, it's gone up over 100%, and it won't be unusual for people to take profit. Not to say everyone will, but there is very likely to be profit being taken, and that would, of course, drop the price a tiny bit for the short term. So that's something you do want to watch out. So let's take a look at the first piece of news and from this is from Jan Jack AMC we're talking about we are certain that short interest in AMC is in the order of billions but even with the self-reported and reduced version CTB is very high the shop rise in CTB shows that at least one borrower is at extreme risk of default and that is one broker raised CTB to protect its own bottom line the reason why he's saying that is because today we had a crazy crazy day so what we're seeing today is the AMC max cost of borrow is at 515% short interest over 23% and even the cost of borrow average at 430% right now for AMC. And just like we said, if we take a look at this, I have been seeing 500% ctb here are the numbers so when amc was trading at 25 dollars around december to november in the year 2021 it was being borrowed at one percent rate for 0 0.5 for a 25 dollars stock but at 500 percent they will pay 25 dollars for a five dollar stock so when you take a look at amc firstly if we just look at this example for now when you look at amc at 571 you do have to understand we are putting more pressure at 571 than we were at eight dollars than we were at ten dollars at twelve dollars even at sixteen dollars with amc right now because of the cost of borrow because they are paying 500 percent for the shares right now so that is of course a huge huge amount of pressure but not only that you know we're definitely looking at it's very likely that one borrower is at extreme risk of default and of course some brokers are now raising their cost of borrow to protect its own bottom lines because they don't also want to catch this fire and so you know many many factors right now adding up for us and again taking a look at amc and what we've talked about like we talked about going into the future as time progress is only likely to see the cost of borrow still increase and again i think for AMC right now, it would increase to a crazy amount. The only time it would slow down or stop and actually go back down is, of course, if shorts start to cover large amount of shares. But by the time that happened, it's very likely the squeeze is obviously happening. But right now, we've talked about, it's very likely to see the cost 
of um, borrow to of course continue going up and what that going to correlate in terms of price is of course the price pushing up now bear in mind that because the cost of borrow is going up it's very likely to see higher amounts of pressure on amc the reason for this is because they are like we talked about paying more at five dollars than they are at 25 dollars and so in order to minimize how much they're paying they obviously have to push the price down as much as possible but obviously with the lack of shares to borrow it'll be very hard and they're just spending even more money to try and bring it down and so when you look at the price go up to me a more accurate representation will be a heavy price going down because they're trying their best to manipulate but it'll come to a point where they can't manipulate the price will go up and then you're going to see the same amount of movement now at a new price and then at a new price etc etc and when that's how we're going to slowly progress up obviously at these pivotal zones that we definitely have to look out for but you know we have all talked about this this is all coming to plan this is something not new to us you know we have talked about this even in the sunday outlook video we talked about this like i said it was a very rocky start on the monday but now we're going exactly what we have talked about and so for AMC, it's looking extremely, extremely well. If we take a look at this in terms of what else you're going to see just from price manipulation, this is not tech really on the chart, but just a fundamental, a psychological is a story in two parts. So Yahoo Finance caught lying, saying today fans continue to prefer streaming over going to theaters. However, the data tells a different story. A 2023 estimated box office earnings up 17.3% from 2022. And again, this is just how well AMC is, of course, doing. If we go down here, this is from 7.5 billion to 8.8 .8 billion estimate for 2023. So we're continuing to see, of course, the prospect for AMC increase, the fundamentals for AMC increase, and just many, many factors. But like I said, as the price of AMC goes up, as the factor that is pushing them to start covering these shares going up, aka cost to borrow, aka the lack of synthetics, aka exposing, you know, how they are shorting, how they're manipulating the lack the slack of ways now they can manipulate shares we are going to be seeing more and more bashing on amc whether that's on the chart whether that's with the news just so many factors right now and again you know this is something we've seen luckily not everyone of course fell for the monday trap if you look at the comment section on the video i made um, on the sunday out of the video and on the monday you'll see a lot of people obviously um talking really bad things and saying a lot of things and very upset that the price dropped but that's exactly what they want to do but like we said if you are not affected which i'm sure majority of you guys are not we're definitely going to see the price recovered from that so just be aware of these pivotal zones and see how they want to try and catch you out you know if you take a look at what are the reasons why amc stock is ready to short squeeze firstly if we take a look it just covers a lot of things but AMC debt has been paid down and refinanced, which we have talked about before, and that's of course a very, very good fundamental. The box office lineup has forecast reaching 9 billion in 2023. Short interest still above 20%, which is very high. Shares on loan are still near all-time highs. In fact, going even higher every day. Um, you know, cost of borrow CTB is rising, like we've said, going higher every day. FTDs are through the roof, which could indicate sh naked shorting. And again, we know that's extremely true. Now, there is obviously a lot of um, arguments a lot of questions about FTDs because it has been seen that they are obviously able to send it off short so they have to, have to cover these FTDs but like we've said the more they do this the more it stacks up it will come to a point where they can no longer hide it it really is a tug of war it really is a race to see who can hold out the longest whether it's them whether it's us and it will come to a point where if we hold out longer than them and they can no longer start doing the same thing that they are doing it will come back to bite them the short and of course the short seller thesis is destroyed and so just all of these factors adding up right now is of course giving us a very very positive effect on amc and we can see this in the reflection of the price we can obviously see how amc moving if you want to take at this at, from a even bigger perspective you know obviously in the short run right now you can obviously see this particular downward movement which i'm of course not going to hide it but like i said if you want to look at it from a long-term perspective since where we've gone up I've talked about the pullback and how the pullback is it to be expected. And this is the pullback we're seeing. But after this, I definitely think the price is going to continue going on. But it is, and I repeat this, and I want everyone to understand what I'm saying. This is not financial advice. So do take a lot of credit for some. Make sure to do your own due diligence and research. But in my opinion, for me to want to see AMC continue going up, we have to close above these pivotal zones, which like I said, is 547.56. The reason why I think this is important is because if we look how the previous two weeks have closed, it's all met with pressure 
for AMC to not close in this area. If we take a look on the Friday, on the 20th of Jan, we can see how sellers came in from that day and then stopped the price and pushed the price in within the zone. If we look at it on the 27th of January, on the Friday, we can see how it bounced off of the previous support and we see the pressure and the breakout, but then it was suppressed again. And so it's very clear to me, at least, that they're trying to stop us from getting above this pivotal zone. That's why I said, if we are able to still close above this, we are still victorious. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.